haunting tales of a demon king. We emerged from the vision in the earth. With him came an army the likes of which the surface had never seen. At his command, these creatures of the dark, truly evil in nature, bred far across the land in search of the power left behind by those wretched goddesses, the Triforce. The one who obtains it shall have any wish granted. But once the Demon King was close to achieving his goal, he was stopped by the goddess Hylia and the first hero. They sealed the Demon King away and vanquished his army, erasing all traces of darkness from the land. Peace restored to the world and its inhabitants, and the mortals lived their lives only to forget the violent war. This tale has been passed down generation after generation. But it is a lie. Nehru, Din, Feori, Hylia are no goddesses. They are imposters, beings from another world that entertain themselves by playing creator. They believe that they are bringing mercy to these disgusting humans that poison their own lands. The Demon King sought to rid the world of this... this continuous cycle of self-destruction. But they thought him mad, driven by hatred, and corrupted by power. So they ordered him to be killed and set hordes of creatures to overwhelm him. Had they truly been goddesses, they would have foreseen the consequences of such foolishness. The Demon King enveloped his foes in a cloud of darkness and revealed to them the truth of what those imposters intend for this world and how they favored the humans. Thus began their demise. Or so it should have been. Damn that Hylia, the spirit that lives on within the princess, they managed to achieve victory over the Demon King, over me. I have been patiently waiting for thousands of years, feeding the darkness into the hearts of those who showed promise. And now, I am finally free. The goddess will pay. I will tear them from the sky and burn them along with their precious humans, creating what would have been true peace, true tranquility. <sighs> but such a task is impossible, <laughs> even for the demon king himself. The, the goddesses, goddesses are fake. I was shocked to learn of this myself. I was always raised to believe I was chosen by the goddesses to wield the Triforce of Power, until I met Master Demise. I've heard of the goddesses. However, I can't really say we care much about them in the Mushroom Kingdom. Huh. I am definitely interested now. So, what's next? Yes. What does this have to do with my revival? You and Ganondorf have a role to be played. Wielding the Triforce gives a direct connection to the goddesses. But they will not descend with a simple wish. They must be lured out. Hidden in the Mushroom Kingdom lies an artifact which can only be wielded by its ruler. It is known as the Star Rod. It gives power to the Fountain of Dreams, a place similar to the Sacred Realm. They are connected with one another. The Goddess Hylia used this to communicate with Nehru, Din, and Fiore. However, the Star Rod has been sealed off ever since Hylia abandoned her role and became a reincarnating spirit. Bowser, 
I need you to claim the throne of the Mushroom Kingdom and find the Star Rod so that we can gain access to the Fountain of Dreams. I see. Claiming the Mushroom Kingdom shouldn't be an issue now that those pillars are gone. But finding the Star Rod will require some time. Well, looks, looks like, like you got something to keep you busy then. As for me, I'm still trying to decide on all of this. I'm pretty sure my arrival was part of your green scheme. Correct. But your connection to Link will prove useful. There is just one thing that concerns me. Do I make it feel secure of my hands and looks? It's your loyalty. Doing. I sense him in you, the first hero. <clears throat> if you prove to be a thorn to my side, I will keep you chained to the hero spirit, so that when I finally pull Link's heart from his chest, you will die along with him, never to reincarnate again. Have I made myself clear enough? Ganondorf, come with me. I have a task I require for <laughs> specific skills. Which is precisely why we shouldn't betray him carelessly. For now, we just do what he says. Do you really think he intends to let us live after he had his revenge? There will be no other king besides him. Thoughts. How are we looking? We've just entered the star system. Doesn't look like we've been tracked either. We're safe. For now. Good. Send a signal out playing the song of my family. The one we're looking for will know what it means. Zelda! Wait up! Hey Zelda, look, I know it's all my fault, and, and you're probably really, really upset at me, but just hear me out for a moment. Link, look. Look where we are. It's beautiful. Being stuck in the castle, I never in a thousand years thought that I'd get to see the stars. I just wish the circumstances of our visit were less... grim. Yeah, but it is beautiful. I want you to just listen. Don't say a word, okay? For a long time, I could feel our connection fading. The very thing that kept us strong would in turn become our downfall. We had to abandon our home, leave behind everything we hold dear, all because we weren't strong enough to defend it. 
So I'm going to make a promise with myself. That I'll no longer stand around and wait for a hero to solve my problems. I have to make my own decisions. Because everyone is counting on me. Zelda, I was... I was too weak. I, I know that I've let you down in the... And the, the kingdom was my fault. Don't say that. I just... I don't know what to do, Link. About us. Our spirits have grown so far apart. I know our powers are fading. Listen, just... Let me... Let me be alone for a while. Tensions are high between everyone right now. We took a huge blow. We even lost Mario. I'm sorry. I just don't know what I have to do. I feel so lost. I think you have some reflecting to do. You need to figure out exactly who you are. Link. Or you'll be lost forever. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team, headed by Fox McCloud, to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again.